So now that we've learnt how to draw the shapes and we know where the bonds and non-bonded pairs are, we can work out whether the substance is polar or not. Uh, so first of all, the second thing we need to analyse once we know the shape is whether the bonds are polar or not. And this is how we draw whether they're polar or not. We put a, a small uh, Greek letter D, a delta pos delta neg, and then we do a, an arrow with a plus there. So uh, this side is, is plus. Uh, and electrons have gone over to this side, so this is negative. Uh, so that's how we uh, indicate a permanent pole, a permanent dipole. Um, and how do we know if it's uh, if it's polar or not? Well, if the electronegativity difference is greater than 0.4, we consider it polar. So just have a quick look at the periodic table for this one. So hydrogen and fluorine. So the electronegativity from your data booklet. Uh, hydrogen's 2.2, fluorine's 4. Uh, so 4 minus 2.2 is greater than uh, 0.4, so that is a polar, actually a very polar bond um, once you get above a difference of 1.8. Um, 1.8 you are looking at ionic bonding uh, occurring. So moving on. Um, so just uh, just because it is a very uh, a polar bond, so these are polar bonds, these CO double bonds here, it doesn't mean that the molecule itself is a polar molecule because if there's symmetry that's involved amongst the polar bonds, then there is no there's an overall uh, neutral charge. There's no concentration of positive or negative. So water is an example of polar bonds, but it's not symmetrical. There are two lone pairs here. Uh, and so there is a concentration of, of electrons here and that creates uh, this situation here as we've drawn before whereas these hydrogens are slightly positive and the oxygen area is slightly negative. Uh, so polar bonds plus non-symmetrical equals a polar molecule. So lastly we just have some examples here. Um, so there is a polar blonde non-symmetrical, so that's polar. Uh, these are polar bonds, but they're all symmetrical. So there's no net negative and positive areas. That's not symmetrical. This has a lone pair here, and this is not, that's why this is not symmetrical, and that's why that is a polar molecule. Uh, again, this is the same as um, this top one over here. There are polar bonds here, and there are, they are symmetrical. So overall, there's no net negative and positive and here these HC bonds are considered non-polar there's just one polar bond which is uh, not symmetrical so this is a polar molecule as well